but at least I want to see how it looks like on top. I am now at Chunwan uh, Park and I am going to Chunwan West Station. There is a bus 51 there and I'll be going to Taimo San with it. It's right now covered in a pretty thick cloud and hopefully uh, what I'm able to capture is above the clouds. This is a natural phenomenon that happens only once or a few times per year in Hong Kong when the clouds are lower than the tallest mountain in Hong Kong, which is Taimo San. Just got off the bus. I am now close to the country park and just have to cross the street to get there. What I want to capture is actually being above the clouds and I'm not quite sure if that is possible. Just have to see, go up there and take some time lapse of that. I got the G7 with me, I've got a ZN Smooth 3 with my S8, and I'm going to try and see if I can also capture nice time lapse with my phone. Additional, I also have a second phone with me, and yeah, pretty much now just gonna hike up. Hope. I get there before it gets too dark. Hey, I switch over to my G7 now because it's very windy up here right now. And I think my S8, uh, yeah, would have like issue getting like clean audio with all this wind. Especially G7 now using the Rode Video Micro. And now you can see behind me how misty it is. It is because I'm actually now inside of the cloud. Luckily, it's not raining here, so I can feel some droplets, but luckily it's not raining. With the mist or the cloud, it's actually dripping a little bit. So I stopped using the Smooth 3 and G7 because I don't want it to get too wet. Uh, and they are both not waterproof, but my S8 is waterproof, so that's fun hiking but at the moment i can i still can't see the top of the mountain yet so not sure if it sticks out of the cloud it's gone quite bad right now the weather is really dreadful right now it's really windy it's very misty i'm wearing gloves because it's gotten quite cold also i'm still going for the top Let's see, because I can still not see the top yet. I know I'm quite close, but the wind speed is picking up quite hard, so I'm pretty sure I can't do much time lapse here. But at least I want to see how it looks like on top. So we are now literally on top because this stairs above me goes to the weather station, or like I don't know what kind of thing is up there, but that is the actual top. But uh, as you can see, I can't even see the two balls that you normally see on top of there. And looking at this side, uh, yeah, we just only see mist. So I'm heading back down because, uh, yeah, today going up here, we can't get any shots of like uh, above the clouds. At least we have some shots made before of uh, below the clouds and yeah have to go back in time because it's almost uh, six and pretty much the sun is actually setting at six so i don't want to be stuck in this mist in the dark so last time when i went up uh, the mist was actually much much higher right now we're actually already inside of the clouds as you can see it's very misty behind me so high possibility that we'll be able to hike above the clouds to capture the shot that i want as you can see behind me it starts to to clear up really quick uh, we're now actually above the clouds line which is awesome because normally you need to be like on a plane but if the mountain you are on is high enough you can be above the clouds so 
I need to find a nice spot where I can capture the shots that I want. So I'm now taking time lapses with my Panasonic G7, taking this awesome shot here. It's really, really crazy how amazing this shot is. So yeah, mainly like I'll be going up after this and see what else we can capture. But from here, we're at the border here, pretty much of the clouds and going higher we'll be able to see even more like into the horizon well it's very windy and we are getting our shot here we have these nice clouds here and actually i can see buildings behind the clouds okay well it's pretty windy up here and we're now taking time lapse of the clouds back there i'm actually on top of a big boulder I had to climb up here uh, I have to say it's quite scary with this wind because I'm afraid that my uh, tripod is going to fall over it's not trembling because I'm not at the highest stand but uh, it's still quite uh, close to the edge like one meter so it's for me it's I'm mostly afraid of falling than actually uh, yeah, than this topic gotten really extreme windy so I've gotten my wind jacket out and also we're walking to another spot and also it's, it feels a little bit chilly because the sun is actually setting or have already set and I'm going to another spot hopefully to capture uh, the cloud still. You might think doing a time lapse is quite easy just go up the mountain set up your tripod and let your camera take the shots however it's not that easy especially if you are trying to capture these kinds of natural occurrence it's really you need to be lucky you need to be at the right place at the right time and most of the time if you go up the mountain you might end up in a rainstorm hope you guys find this video quite educational if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button here below if you have any questions please comment below and i'll see you guys the next time bye bye